Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to the show. My name is Anwar Mir and you are watching a special program today. It is on the British Bangladeshi who's who and this year of course is the 10th anniversary. Yes, believe it or not, it was 10 years ago uh, that the British Bangladeshi who's who first came to be. That is when it was the brainchild of uh, uh, Shadat Karim, Barrister Shadat Karim and his father when they decided that it was very important for the British Bangladeshi community to be documented in a reference point that can be looked at not only by the present generations but also the forthcoming generations so that they can be able to see the British Bangladeshi community, their efforts throughout the British uh, throughout the United Kingdom and the kinds of achievements and accomplishments that they have engaged in uh, uh, during their time uh, here in the United Kingdom. And what we're going to do today, ladies and gentlemen, is discuss the uh, British Bangladeshi who's who with our panel of guests. In fact, we've got uh, other people who will be joining us throughout the program as well. And uh, uh, before I introduce them, perhaps I may also say that this is an interactive show so that if you wish to participate in the program, there will be a number at the bottom of your screens. Feel free to call in and let us know your thoughts or your comments in relation to the initiative, which is the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Now, allow me to introduce uh, my guests from the extreme right. My first guest is uh, Hema Patel, who's the managing director of Only Red marketing and uh, only red marketing is the organization which is the event management company uh, dealing with the uh, uh, the who's who this year uh, the event we'll hear about later on uh, which is going to be a gala dinner and an award ceremony going which is going to be taking place uh, uh, in november but uh, um, first let me welcome Helma. hello Helma. welcome hello. to the show thank you very much you're most welcome thank you for joining us and sitting next to her ladies and gentlemen is the young man whose brainchild it was. He's the present editor of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, an accomplished barrister professionally from a, a leading set of chambers in London. And uh, uh, he is, of course, none other than Shahadat Karim. Shahadat, salam alaikum. Welcome to the show. Welcome, salam. Thank you very much for having me. You're most welcome. And to my extreme left, ladies and gentlemen, um, we have someone who absolutely requires no introduction. She is a, a doctor by profession, but also a, a community leader and uh, someone who is renowned throughout the community for the hard work, the philanthropy, the engagement that she has uh, with the community. Her specialism is actually in mother and child uh, healthcare, but um, we know her as Dr. Zaki uh, Rezwana Anwar. Zaki Apa, welcome to Salam the show. Thank you Thanks for joining for us today. Me. I know you're you're very busy and we appreciate the time you that you've taken to join us today. It's and nice. sitting next to her is somebody who again requires no introduction, equally busy, and uh, somebody who has absolutely had a fantastic year uh, in 2016. And we will no doubt discuss a bit about that later on. Uh, he was the uh, former mayor of Brent Council. Um, he's a councillor uh, as well and a previous award winner in 2016 of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. None other, other than Councillor Parvez Ahmed. Parvez Bhai, welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome, and thank you very much for inviting me. You're most welcome. Thank you too as well uh, for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, proceed, with, proceed with hearing from our guests about the uh, Who's Who, we have a short clip to show you so that you can get a taste of uh, what it was all about. And this clip is actually from the 2000 and a 16 uh, event that uh, we had, the most recent event, and uh, let's have a look at uh, what that was all about.
well. I'm very impressed already, and I've only got here 10 minutes ago. Are you impressed with me or the actual venue? It's impressive. Um, I love the setting. I love the grandeur. I love the, um, the interaction. Um, I want to see who's who. Excited? Yes, very excited. I'm always very thrilled to come to this event, and I'm uh, very passionate about this, and um, just uh, I'm ready to make good. To see lots of friends, a uh, good cultural program, and um, a bit of surprise, I think. important that we showcase. I think this is showcase of Bengalis doing really, really well. If you think about your father, my father, when they came to this country, this is what they would have dreamt of for their children. Thank you. Uh, excited to be here, actually, just meeting everyone uh, from our community, which is a fantastic place to meet. At. My first time, and absolutely amaz amazing, looks really fantastic and really pleased to be here. I think it's fantastic, it's gorgeous. It looks like a red carpet event, because I'm just looking around, and everyone looks so gorgeous. They've made such an effort to come out. Your Excellency, Mr. Nazmul Kwanain, the High Commissioner of the People's Republic of Bangladesh to the UK, Baroness Manzila Udin, Labour Peer, House of Lords, Mr. Silesh Vara, MP, Ex-Parliamentary Undersecretary, Ministry of Justice, Rishnara Ali, MP, UK Trade Envoy for Bangladesh, Mr. John Biggs, Executive Mayor of the London Borough of Tower Hamlets. We have a few surprises along the way. I won't reveal anything now. Welcome to the ninth installment of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who Gala and Awards. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here tonight to support this great uh, event. The Who's Who team just make their events more and more fantastic each year. I would like to also invite onto the stage the founder of Channel S, uh, Mahi Fedos Jolil. Would you please kindly come onto the stage now? So many sponsors and partners, media groups. It's a really great sight. Another round of applause, please. Can we have a big round of applause for all the sponsors that are on stage? Without them, this wouldn't have been possible. OK. All that's left now is for me to introduce the Who's Who 2016 team, the team that have put this incredible event together. And I have to start with the main man himself, Mr. Abdul Karim Goni. It's because of him that we're all here today. Okay, now it's the other way around. We want to thank you for supporting us, for coming out here on a Thursday evening. Without you, this would not have been possible. Thank you so very much.
What a fabulous event that was, ladies and gentlemen. Just reminiscing there, uh, brought back so many exciting memories about the showcasing of the uh, creme de la creme of the British Bangladeshi community. They were chronicled that day, but also featured in the annual publication, of course. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, their profiles are featured uh, within that particular book. But uh, I, I want to ask the editor of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, that uh, uh, how it is, firstly, that it came to being. How is it that the, uh, the idea of the, uh, the chronicling of the achievements and accomplishments of the British Bangladeshi community came to be? Well, firstly, <coughs> as you may know, my father's been involved with the media here in the UK for a number of years. Um, and what was quite remarkable is that the achievements of our community had it been chronicled in any publication. So following discussions between myself and my father, we decided that it was high time that something, a publication of this nature came into existence so that we could showcase the marvelous work that the British Bangladeshi community were doing. Moreover, it's obviously a publication which also highlights the integration of this migrant community which has been here for over a century now. Um, and, you know, we need positive role models. So we thought that this would be a perfect opportunity for us to showcase the best of the British Bangladeshi community. Uh, and uh, uh, this um, uh, reference point, if you like, um, is replaced every year. And uh, as we've already heard, this year is going to be the 10th anniversary. This is a milestone. Uh, uh, this is an achievement in itself, I suspect, because um, it's no mean feat to be able to uh, edit and uh, uh, renew the publication to make sure that uh, it's very up to date, that you have in there people who deserve to be in there and you reach out to the community to be able to source uh, people and flag them up themselves so that they can be featured in there too. Ten years, how are you feeling? Well, obviously it, we're ecstatic that it's ten years, but what we hope is that in a hundred years' time, someone sitting in a studio like this will look back and say, this is the hundredth anniversary of the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Um, so we, we, this is a milestone. This is a big milestone for us. But we're hoping in the grand scheme of things, it's a small milestone, if you know what I mean. Yes, well, um, Homer, you, you've seen uh, the 2016 offering. You've seen uh, the glitz and the glamour and the fantastic event that it was. You've got a challenge on your hands, aren't, haven't you? Yeah, a little one, yeah. Yes. How, how are you feeling? I mean, this is the first time you're involved yes, in this it event. it is. It's the first time. But it's not the first time that I've been involved with um, the Bangla Mirror Group. Um, so only red marketing. We specialise in multicultural marketing. So helping brands to target um, ethnic communities in the UK, um, which Bangla Mirror Group have helped us to do for clients in the past. Um, so when I was approached this year, um, I thought it was a fantastic oppor opportunity to you know, further enhance our relationship and develop our relationship and to help the event as well, because I think it's a great cause. Um, well, not even a cause, I think it's a great celebration um, of the community and recognising people from different backgrounds and in different sectors as well in the UK and how much the Bangladeshi community are bringing um, so much um, investment into the actual UK economy and how much um, involvement that they have. So I think that I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, my team are excited as well. Yes, we do have a challenge, um, but then no challenge is um, too small. Um, and I think that, you know, w working together as a team, we can make this year a spectacular one, so marking the milestone, the first milestone that they want to achieve this year. Fabulous. Um, uh, Zaki Appa, um, I'm going to ask you, because you're heavily involved in the British Bangladeshi community, um, uh, and uh, uh, you, you know, you're not only a community activist, but uh, you reach out to all sorts of initiatives and so forth. What is your uh, view of the uh, British Bangladeshi Who's Who, this particular initiative? Um, well, uh, when you were um, in the introduction, I was just thinking that if anybody from any corner of the world uh, just flick through the pages of this publication, he or she will get the message that we as a British Bangladesh people, we are not merely surviving in a foreign land. We are like thriving, we are flourishing, we are achieving. So this publication, it doesn't only um, showcases our achievement, it all also reflects the, our contribution to the society, uh, in the UK society. And uh, this is I would say um, in a way it's unique because we, you know every year we have the different award giving ceremony like but the, those events they are focused on like um, some are on the curry industry some are on the 
media, but this is across the across the different walks of the uh, of the different sector, like um, law, medicine, media, business, you name whatever it is. And sometimes I feel that when I I wish I had something like this when I was before I came to this country or when I was in this country, so that I could have um, connect to the people. Like when when you have the same interest, your interest matches with somebody else's interest. You can communicate with that person and you can collaborate with that person. So this is a very good platform for in, uh, connecting people with the, with the same interest. And uh, but uh, also I although I didn't have this kind of uh, publication in my hand when I came to this country, but luckily our kids, they will have yes, this. Yeah. And I would say they're very fortunate. Yes, yeah. you, you raise an, a very important point about the vacuum that there was before this publication in exactly, fact came into, exactly. came into being. And uh, we'll discuss that later on. Thank you for that. Uh, Parvez Bay. Now, you're heavily involved in the mainstream. Uh, you have done very important work throughout your career. And in fact, it was quite befitting that you were uh, recently the uh, mayor of Brent Council. And uh, we saw the great work that you did. You were also an award winner. What did it mean to you to be recognized by your own community? প্রথমে আমি ধন্যবাদ জানাবো আমি আমার বন্ধু আব্দুল করিম গনি ভাইকে যে উনি যে শুরু করেছিলেন যার আজ থেকে নয় দশ বছর আগে তখন কিন্তু আমার কাছে উনি আসছিলেন এই আইডিয়াটি নিয়ে আমি দেখলাম অত্যন্ত সুন্দর একটা আইডিয়া আমাদের এটা করা দরকার সিন্স দ্যাট হি ডিড রিয়েলি হার্ড ওয়ার্ক তো সে এখন দশ বছরে আমরা আসছি এক দুই করে নয় বছর পরে আমাকে নিজেকে রেকগনাইজ করা হয়েছে থ্রু হু ইজ হু অ্যান্ড আমাকে কেন করা হয়েছে আমার কাজের জন্য This is really something different. I, I was really shocked that night as well when I was uh, taking over this award from Who is Who. Apni pato mei bolchen introduction e apna je e book ta ek reference shabe kaj kore. In my career, last ten years time, I mean joto tuku dekhe si abong abondo abondo political ani ani nathe jara. I mean one ke book ta kintu gift diye si. Ora kintu ek jotno shokar e odher office e rakhe si ta. Only reason is then oj reference jeta bollen. Amader kintu Bangladeshi community mei de reference shabe kuno. খুব কম বুক আছে এই ধরনের কোয়ালিটি ইটস এ ব্রিলিয়েন্ট কোয়ালিটি বুকের তো সেই দিক থেকে আমি মনে করি আমাদের এরকমের বুকের এবং এরকম পাবলিকেশনের দরকার আছে এবং আমাদের নেক্সট জেনারেশন যারা দে উইল বি নো হু ওয়াজ উই ওয়াজ অর হোয়াট উই ডিড ইন দ্য বিফোর সো ফর ওদেরকে আবার এনকারেজমেন্ট করার জন্য আমাদের এইগুলো বুকের দরকার আছে তো আই এম ভেরি প্লিজ টু সি দেন যারা দশ বছরে আসছেন ইনশাল্লাহ আগামী তো আরও হান্ড্রেড ইয়ার্সে যাবে শাহাদ করিম বলছেন এবং শাহাদ করিম একদম ইয়াং এনার্জেটিক আইডিয়া নিয়ে আসছেন এবং এভরি ডে এভরি ইয়ার আই ক্যান সি অ্যান্ড উই অল ক্যান সি দে আর ডুইং বেটার অ্যান্ড বেটার সো দিস আর ডেফিনেটলি দে উইল বি কামিং সামথিং ডিফারেন্ট আই ওয়ান্ট টু আস্ক ইউ সামথিং উইচ জাকি আপা অ্যাকচুয়ালি মেনশন দ্যাট ওয়াজ দ্যাট অ্যাট দ্য টাইম শি আরাইভড ইন দি ইউনাইটেড কিংডম দ্যাট ক্লিয়ারলি ওয়াজন্ট এ পাবলিকেশন সাচ ইস দিস নো রেফারেন্স পয়েন্ট নো ওয়ে ওয়ে দি অ্যাচিভমেন্টস অ্যান্ড অ্যাকমপ্লিশমেন্টস অফ দ্য কমিউনিটি ওয়ার বিং রেকর্ডেড ইউভ বিন হিয়ার ফর লং টাইম ডু ইউ ফিল স্লাইটলি স্যাড that uh, um those that you met during your Community. first time in the united kingdom uh, uh when you recognize their achievements uh, is it not a shame that people like us well, I'm, well he's younger than me but i mean uh, the newer generations the forthcoming generations that they will not be able to look back and see what our forefathers did what people like well luckily your your featured but imagine if it wasn't you know the kind of achievements that you have achieved and those like you uh, you know who have mirrored similar achievements what do you think about that actually it is a very important because if we don't do our record then who going to do it how we going to pass this message to our next generation yeah. so that's why i feel very important not only who is who is team we as a community need to help them to keep up our record because you see amader agar je generation they did lot of good work because of them we are in here today we have to remember their sacrifice and we was nothing now we are something so our next generation they will be to really better than what we are doing so that will be encourage them so i think uh, this is a very encouragement about this who is who book v- uh, very humbling yeah. and moving words thank you very much i'm going to talk to uh, um shadat uh, uh, i'd like to ask you um if somebody out there would like to uh, be considered for uh, uh you know being featured in this particular publication or they know somebody who may be suitable for uh being featured in there uh, how do they contact uh the organization and what when is the deadline the easiest way is to just go on to our website right. um www.bbhuzu.co.uk alternatively um we have a spread in the bangladesh newspaper 
Um, the deadline for nominations, the closing of nominations this year is this coming Friday, which is the 15th of September. Right. So, you know, get your nomination forms in, as it were. Right. And, and, and also, um, I mean, you mentioned the Bangladesh newspaper, but is, is there an online presence as well? Because not everybody throughout the country may be able to uh, find that in their uh, Yes, yeah, so as I said, the, the easiest way agents. is to go onto the Who's Who's website itself, which right. is bbwhoshoo.co.uk. Right. You can download the nominations form there and there's further details available. Right. And in terms of the event itself, um, are you having a, well, you clearly are having a gala event because uh, Hema is going to be, uh, uh, you know, masterminding that. But uh, in terms of the event itself, where is it going to be? And It's on the 9th of November, which is a Thursday this year. Um, and it's at the same venue as last year, which is the Meridian Grand. Thank you very much indeed. And, and Hema, I just want to ask you um, about the uh, event itself. I know that you can't tell us too much. There's going to be a lot of surprises in store uh, for those who are lucky enough to be able to, to, to go there. But in terms of the kind of work involved, a lot of hard work between now and the event? Yeah, I think that um, I just think it's important just to make sure that everything is as planned as it can be. Um, obviously on the day, you know, there, there will always be little things that we need to look out for, but I think it's just a planning stage at the moment, just to make sure that everything is um, as, you know, accurate as it should be. I'm quite meticulous, so just making sure that the event is a real celebration and it's obviously on a, another level from next year, because every year I think it should just get better and better um, and really be a celebration. And just to add, I think it's a great thing um, because it's, it's so inspirational to the young um, Bangladeshis, um, helping them to be so proud of their heritage, um, which I think that, you know, they do so. Uh, fantastic. How exciting is that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we must go on to a break. And uh, just before I do, I'd like to thank our panel of guests who are going to be replaced. Uh, and we're going to have a fresh panel who are going to be continuing the discussion to enlighten us about the British Bangladeshi who's who and what that is all about. So do stay with us. Uh, we're going to be back right after this break. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the show. My name is Anwar Mir and you are watching a special program on the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, the annual publication which is now celebrating its 10th year. And this year, of course, we're going to be having a gala event on the 9th of November 2017 at the Meridian Grand in London. That is when we're going to be launching the 10th publication, a reference point of the creme de la creme of the British Bangladeshi community. Just before we went off air, we had four distinguished guests who are giving us a flavor of the actual publication and what it was all about. This uh, segment uh, is uh, somewhere where we have a new panel, uh, all very well-known faces, and we're going to be inviting them to discuss with us uh, and tell us a little bit more about their engagement and involvement in this initiative. To my immediate right, now ladies and gentlemen, um, none of our guests require any introduction, but this particular guest is somebody that I must uh, flag up. Uh, uh, flag up to the extent that not only is he somebody who is, of course, the uh, founding chairman of Channel S Television, and we all have witnessed the benevolence and altruism that he has uh, put towards this particular British Bangladeshi community throughout the years, but he has a special relationship with the British Bangladeshi who's who. It was he who, at the embryonic stages, allowed his own venue to be used as a platform to launch uh, 10 years ago the British Bangladeshi who's who, and he uh, uh, gave a lot of great support uh, to the initiative as it then was, and uh, it has now uh, flourished into the great publication and reference point that we uh, all flag it up to be. Uh, he is, of course, none, none, none other than uh, Mahi Jalil. Jalil, by Salaam alaikum. Welcome well, to the show. Well, by very nice introduction, but as <laughs> you don't need to say much. Well, I've only said a fraction of the attributes of Jalil Bai. You will all know him as a very prominent businessman as well, and we could uh, have a program uh, on him alone. But we won't. Today we're talking about the who's who, and therefore I'm going to be moving swiftly on uh, and to say that to my extreme right is uh, uh, somebody from the actual venue itself, the Meridian Grand. Uh, her name is Famina Chowdhury. She is the Business Development Director, and in fact, uh, it is in her capable hands that the Meridian Grand has developed into a household name. Uh, we've all been to very many weddings and uh, events at the uh, Meridian Grand, a fabulous venue, very well located, stunningly kitted out with uh, amazing facilities. Uh, and of course, Fermina is a, a key member of that particular organization. And we're delighted 
that she's able to join us here today. Famina, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the show. Wa alaikum salam, thank you for having me. You're most welcome, it's an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm going to be now turning to my extreme left. Um, another award winner, this time from 2015. Um, he's somebody who is uh, 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 professionally an accountant, and of course he keeps his fingers in that particular pie as well. But he's also engaged in the community quite substantively, no less he's a director of the UK BCCI, and he's involved in a number of different uh, engagements and initiatives uh, within the community. And uh, his name is uh, Kamru Ali. Kamru Bhai, Salam Alaikum. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Salam. Thank you, Alway, for the grand introduction. Well, no, not at all. I think I'm underselling all of you because, as I say, you've all contributed so much to this community. And uh, uh, last but not least is, of course, somebody who, again, is a well-known uh, figure within the community. He's an award-winning educator. He's a philanthropist and a preeminent thought leader on this particular diaspora. And uh, he's been awarded an MBE for some of his achievements. Uh, a, a, a lot of other achievements, of course, which have yet to be uh, chronicled. He is uh, Farooq uh, Mia MBE. Farooq Bhai, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Alaikum. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today. Thank you for inviting me to join you. Uh, you're, you're most welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I said at the outset of this program, this is an interactive show. Um, if you wish to participate in the program, there is a number at the bottom of your television screens. Please feel free to call in and uh, share your thoughts uh, uh, with us. If I may first turn to Jolil Bhai. Jolil Bhai, now, I remember all those years ago, 10 years ago, when you very kindly um, allowed uh, uh, your support, which was uh, meticulous and, and very important, because without that crucial support that you gave, uh, the British Bangladeshi Huzi would have uh, found it a great deal more difficult. Um, you had confidence in that publication, and it is manifest testimony that 10 years on, it has not only survived, but it's become very popular. What is your view on this initiative, the British Bangladeshi Who's Who? <coughs> Where do I start from? Firstly, um, Shadow and Goni Bhai, obviously, they've been working, working on the project for, t as you said, 10 years, but I think they've been working on it 11 year plus. Um, I remember the Channel S was fourth, fourth birthday uh, on, uh, so Channel S, Channel S is now going to be 15. And Goni Bai came around and said, uh, Bundu, I want to do this, what do you think? And I said to him, let me think. Five minutes after I said, it's a great things, but who are you to say who is who? I said to him, who are you to say? And then he convinced me saying, Amra Khali Amra community Badmati, Amra to Bala Kichumati na. And we need foundation. So 10 years here on, we are talking about it. The Amra community was a killer bright, bright chelemeo holaso and business mela holaso and accountant khoka, barrister khoka, community worker khoka. This is a platform, I think is a foundation for the British Bangladeshi community. After the building behind, then you need foundation and foundation made out of water, cement, sand, these uh, uh, concretes, uh, all these things. Without a foundation, it shakes. And moving forward in 21st century, British Bangladeshi foundation will always show us a positiveness. The whole world, like world, right? Even after the current name, man, like just like internet or web or access, the show will not be allowed to use. So, but the other people will be allowed because it's getting used time to time. Time they have done for they have done for you. They so the hits are getting there. So the bad gun tholes are balagun of rare. So the. Um, it, it, it's, you know, how you don't need to sell these projects anymore. It's a fantastic model. It does not give Khalib uh, a restaurant to Maliko Hulre, Tebil Besiado on, Fosha Besiado on. This is different. Every year, new listing of Nothun Nothun Manusho Hulre. So, in, in word, one word, it, it's a great thing for British Bangladeshi. Um, uh, that, that's uh, fascinating. I mean, uh, taking Channel S as an example, um, that connects with not just the uh, traditional viewer who normally would watch a, a Bangladeshi channel, but also the younger generation, because eventually when they're channel hopping, eventually they'll say, oh, Let's, let's see 814, let's see what this is all about. And they see programs and Channel S offers um, so many uh, different wide variety of programs that it connects with somebody at a certain level. I find something interesting, but I may not find something else interesting. But that's been able to connect 
with the, the young generation, trying to listen the, to the fantastic job. This is the job. only television uh, yeah. you will see that we targeted. Mm. Bangladesh is mm. our London Satidori. This is our uh, traditions. Yeah. Bangladesh is London, yeah. but yeah. this is a television we cater that London is our mm. London Satidori. Mm. So this is this is what it is, and obviously next. Um, <coughs> Next year will be totally different. In we uh, Channel S is moving. Uh, we're making Channel S as a museum. I don't know if you know. Uh, Channel S will become a museum from next year mm. uh, on a new building. Mm. So you will have the first Bangladeshi who came in on a one wall. So it's like a Madame Tussauds. But every year, 16th of December, a lot of mm. things will be changing. So yeah. there's a new things happening in Channel S yeah. because of my personal who her. Yeah. I couldn't do what I wanted to do 10 years ago, eight years ago, 15 years ago. But I'm now giving it one more try. And I want to leave that as a British Bangladeshi legacy. So, Channel S, a part of the British Bangladeshi Foundation, who is who is a part of a British Bangladeshi Foundation? Because foundation is not one material, it's number of materials. Can you see? Mm. I told you before, the building of both the materials like this. So, this is a materials for the British Bangladeshi as a foundation going forward. Yes, yes. And, and the fact is that obviously uh, this initiative, the British Bangladeshi Who's Who, is truly grateful for the support that Ch Channel S has given it throughout the years. Well, and I know that Channel S gives support to all initiatives that reach out to anything, Channel S. Anything good, not continuous. Anything, <laughs> anything good, of course. Uh, my final question to you, Jolly, but I'm yeah. sorry to ask you no, so many please questions. Do. But um, where, where do you see uh, this initiative and, uh, and the fact that, um, you know, the achievements and accomplishments of, of, of you know, our younger generations and, uh, and others uh, are being referenced. I mean, where do you see this initiative going and where would you like to see it go? Uh, well, um, where is it going? Look, Shadot is, you know him, is a work colleague of yours. Um, he's a barrister, he's a professional. This is not making money. This is not for making money. Shadot gives a lot of value of his time. Gonibai started it. Now, our generation, we are moving now. Our kids are taking over. And Shadot most probably will do another 10, 15 years. The next generation will take over. So with the time, we will change and advance ourselves. But this is something we need to keep holding it. So Gonibai most probably will retire in a few years' time, or five years, 10 years, whatever the time is. Shadot will take care. Uh, but most probably, we have to do a lot more with the today's technology and advance uh, more rather than having thousands of pr copies are printed. So uh, uh, the technology needs to be more advanced. That's what I, I see. But there are a lot of new youngsters going to come in. You will see um, our children are now going to Harvard's, our children are going to Oxford, Cambridge. That's, uh, that's itself an achievement. And these people get inspired from this. You know, this is an inspirational book. It, it's not a criticism. Do you know what? How many lawyers did you used to know 10 years ago? Now, here you go, 10 years after, how many lawyers we know? How many businessmen did you used to know? But that's an inspiration. If he takes it home, his daughter see it. And he said, you know what? This is something very serious. Oh, this lady studied in Oxford. I want to go to Oxford. So this sort of materials takes, you know, you have to spend thousands of pounds to inspire others, but you don't. If somebody reads this, automatically a seat goes inside and saying, you know what? That we human learn from each other, but we're never going to admit that we learn from him. But we will take from this book and we'll say, you know what? This guy became multi-billionaire or he's so successful, he's got an OBE, MBE, this, that. Where did he get it? I want to do the same thing. And that takes a lot of guts to do it, you know? And that book does that. A remarkable insight from Jalil Bai, as always. Thank you very much, Jalil Bai, for your, uh, uh, you. for your thoughts. I'm going to turn to uh, Farooq Bai now. Um, Farooq Bai, you are increasingly involved with the British Bangladeshi Who's Who. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is your view of it? What would you like to tell our viewers mm -hmm. about this initiative? I mean, we've heard um, some fabulous thoughts from Jalil mm -hmm. Bai about how it's a source of inspiration, mm -hmm. not just a reference point, but also a source of infor uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Clearly, that's, uh, you know, bang on, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, one of the things that many of you know, I'm not a Londoner. I grew up in Yorkshire. And you know what I was Sound always looking for? <laughs> Do I sound like a Yorkshireman or a Londoner? <laughs> Yorkshireman. <York. laughs> um, when I was growing up, we were all looking for inspiration in many different ways. I went to college, one of the very few fortunate ones who actually got college at 16. There was only two Bengalis amongst 22,000 students in the college I attended. And I was always looking out for other people outside my circle. And, and believe it or not, one of the very first awards I ever received was one of the Channel S awards in 2006. 
And what you said a little bit earlier about inspiration is the very thing. Mm. I went, you know, some like three, day, three years later, I was one of the top 10 teachers in the whole of the UK. Got an award from Secretary of State for Education. Four years later, I was awarded an MBE for Services to Further Education and, and the people of Leeds. In a way, it was that Channel Award, in a way, inspired me to actually work harder. And I've got mainstream awards. But I've always been somebody who's very, very interested in our community in the sense of the Bangladeshi diaspora. So my very first but job, in a way... you don't recognise yeah. in our community, mm. the white men are not going to recognise you. Absolutely, I agree with you. And this is why... Yeah. I, I completely agree, yeah. agree with you. And so this, this is our goal. The this, who is who this, this is, is the Bengalis exactly recognising you. This is exactly why I have been a big fan. So I've been in London for seven years, and for the last seven years, I've attended all the events. And I've tried to encourage other people to get involved. The beauty of this particular um, book and the Who's Who is I actually recognize the contribution of the British Bangladeshi community in all the different sectors. Yeah. Yeah? I know that majority of our people, historically, um, we've been in the catering industry, and it's great. There's many different catering awards. But this is the first one that I feel where many different people from many different sectors can actually get involved. And, and like Jolil Bai said, we are recognizing whether they're accountants, whether they're lawyers, whether they're people in medicine or whatever profession they're in, you've got an opportunity to actually recognize and be inspired by these people. Yes, the other thing I find, not everybody possibly wants to be in this book, but I think it's up to us, the rest of us, if we know there's somebody very talented, is to encourage them to come forward because what they do is they inspire the next generation. Somebody else, you know what? If so-and-so can do it, I can do it too or my, cons my son is just as good, or my uncle is just as good. And that's the thing hopefully you'll talk about, and I think you talked about in the last segment. It's really important that if we know somebody who has made a major contribution, is to nominate them. It's completely free to nominate. And if one year, I always, as you know, every year I try and encourage lots of people to attend with me as my guests, then that they can come in a, a comfortable setting. And also I try and encourage to bring lots of people who are not Bengali. So a lot of my work colleagues have yeah. been over the years. I want them to see Bengalis are actually doing really, really well. Farouk Bhai, thank you very much. Farouk Bhai was obviously talking about the gala dinner event itself. And that seamlessly takes me to the venue uh, where it has been held at for the uh, recent years. And uh, uh, we're going to be holding it uh, in this forthcoming uh, year, uh, well, this year on the 9th of November 2017 at the Meridian Grand. Femina, now you are uh, a driving force at that venue. Would you be able to please, in a nutshell, tell us a, a little bit about the Meridian Grand? Um, many people may not know what it is. I have seen it. I think it's an amazing uh, venue. You guys have done a fabulous job uh, at the Meridian Grand. Um, although this event is actually an awards event um, and a gala dinner, uh, you guys do all sorts of things. You cater for a wide spectrum of types of events. Are you able to please uh, just tell our viewers about it, please? So, yes, we do cater for a wide spectrum of events, but weddings are really kind of the core of our business. Um, the business itself is coming up to its second year. Um, we've held a lot of Indian weddings, Pakistani weddings. We did used to get a lot of inquiries from the Bengali community, but they just they just wasn't aware that people are spending more money now. Um, events such as Who's Who has invited the community to really see this venue on TV. Um, it's really helped publish, publicise um, the venue to the Bengali community. And we've really seen a, a fantastic response from the community this year. I mean, we've, we've had over the summer period, about 63% of our um, events have been from the Bengali community and the Who's Who have really helped us penetrate this market and we now realise how important this market is. The Bengali community, they want to do the amazing events over the summer, you know, we've married off doctors, lawyers, pilots, you know, I've really seen it all and the community is so important to us, we've now developed our catering, so we actually have um, Bengali catering at Meridian Grand and we really open arms, we invite the Bengali community to get in contact, come for food tasting, come and really see what Meridian Grand's all about. That's fabulous. I mean, um, it's well, one thing that struck me about the Meridian Grand was the uh, not only the decor and the facilities, but also the kitchen itself. I mean, the, the way it's been done is completely spotless. I think hygiene is such a key, important factor um, in, in an operation such as this. And I've seen the kind of uh, 
uh, uh, diligence that your team uh, have uh, uh, put on that. Um, it, 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 what, what's the capacity and the parking? You have a so we've got free on-site parking yeah. for over 200 cars. Capacity-wise, um, we can hold a thousand guests very comfortably. Right. We have prayer facilities. We have facilities to segregate events as well. So you know we tick a lot of the boxes that the community usually asks. And are you looking forward to hosting the Who's Who uh, at your event? At, at your venue? At the, absolutely. Yeah. Um, last year was my first Who's Who event. Right. Um, this year will be my second one. Last week we held you know, our meeting just over the lighting. So you know, everyone really is in for a surprise this year. Fabulous. We're all looking forward to it. Kamrubai, I'm going to turn to you now. Um, you were a previous award winner. You're a very young man, but within a short space of time, you've really done very well. You've accomplished yourself so much that you've won a number of awards in different spheres as well as... Uh, um, you know, uh, progressing your, 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 yourself. Um, how did you feel when you won the award um, uh, a couple of years ago? Oh, I felt great, fantastic. I mean, in fact, on a personal note, it's uh, helped me uh, build my profile uh, because my, most of my business is, is in the community, whether it's property, finance, accountancy, and it's helped uh, with m building my profile, well, uh, but if I remember correctly, I, was, I think I was—I've been in, uh, only on the first e first year when it was held at Channel S. So from there, we've, I've been inspired myself by other people as well. And uh, if I remember correctly, I've never missed an event. I've always looked forward to this, and particularly this year because it's the tenth year. So uh, there may be something more special or more amazing. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But yeah, it's a fantastic book and it's such good networking. Every year I go, I make a few new friends, acquaintances and uh, try and do business with them as well. So it's, um, and I enjoy the event. You meet a lot of friends there and uh, it's, it's great to be part of, part of the Who's Who. And uh, I know you're well involved with the community as well yes. because you're a director of the UK BCCI and so right, forth. Yes. Jolly Bai said something very important, which yeah. is about the inspirational uh, content of it. Sure. The fact that when somebody picks up that book or even surfs online mm. and goes through the, the list and the narrative of, of the engagements and activities of those uh, people who are lucky enough to be featured in there, sure. uh, that that in itself generates a source of inspiration. Do you know people who have uh, mentioned it either because you're featured in it or because they've come, ac they've come across it? And I felt that, you know, this is something that's being flagged up that they all aspire Of course, I've towards. personally had a lot of people approach me and want to know how I built up my businesses and um, try as if they'd like to be mentored. And uh, I've been able to help them as much as I can with a busy schedule as it is. But it, just like um, Farooq was saying, you know, I myself was looking for ways to be inspired and going to these events actually helped. And when you win an award, you, you're, you're self-motivated to perhaps try and get another award in, in the mainstream or wherever. And uh, it uh, keeps us going to be, you know, going to the next level and uh, be, being part of the communities. It's just fantastic, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to turn to Jolly Bai again. I'm sorry to trouble you again, yeah, no, Jolly no, no, Bai. No, no. Um, what it is is that, um, you know, you are, uh, commentate on a lot of the activities of the British Bangladesh community uh, we're today talking about the good but you know th throughout your uh, you know your, your time at channel you comment constructively okay. by flagging up the negatives as well yes? yes and you do that constructively we all know that yeah you want it for the betterment of the community yeah now uh, there are um, uh, the not just the stereotypes but the reality is is that there are issues within the community yes. there are people who uh, children for example who cannot see beyond the street corner uh, that you know their vision is limited that's all they see they cannot see what they can actually reach out to and uh, what they can achieve when you flick through this book yeah uh, when you see people I know you know most of the people in the community but when you see people and when you see the new entrants uh, you know, what goes through your mind? Because before Channel S, I suspect, well, certainly from, from myself, I didn't know many members of the community, but it's only when they would come on uh, uh, Reality with Mahi, for example, and, and they would make a, an observation that we would know a bit more about them, themselves. Uh, w what do you see? The increasing number of people who are flagged up in this book, you know, the people who come out of the woodwork, people who we really need to know about because they've done so well but they themselves, for whatever reason, are either shy or reserved, and therefore they don't like to come out into the community. What, what, what are your views? Babul um, Bay, it's very simple. Look, I came to the UK in 1988. Okay? Yeah. It's not many years ago. 30 years, 29 years. Okay, 30 years ago. How many barrister was there? Handful. Handful. 
Uh, the, uh, the Ajmal Bhai is now Bangladesh. He yeah. was there, yeah. and we used to call one it barristers and this barrister, that barristers, right? There was, yeah. n n this is the truth. Yeah. But the community has moved so forward. It's not controversy. Look, we came from a, a place in Silet. Yeah. So you can ask, 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 it's gone. It's, uh, the, every society has problems, you know, it's not a problem. But the community now, the education wise, you go to see the Tower Hamlets, you see Camden, you see anywhere else. Show me one family that hasn't got a graduate in their house. Absolutely. Show me one family, I want to see. Absolutely. Each and every family is now successful. Absolutely. Show me one family hasn't got money. We are, you know, we're not liability to Britain. We contribute 4.2 billion. These sort of things should have done 40 years ago yeah. rather than we're doing all sort of small association, yeah. village association. We should have done this 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Then this community would have gone advanced. You ask me a question, how do I feel? I see that it's diamonds everywhere. I see, you know, uh, golden nuggets everywhere. Yeah. I see the nuggets everywhere because um, first few years, most probably gone by, I was not in issue. He struggled mm -hmm. to find people, but now there is no problems. When we started doing Channel S Award, we had some serious problem we couldn't find in 2004 who to give it to. It's only 2010 we had thousands of the applicants came in but before that we had to phone him, phone him and say who do you know there that doing some community work. But no, this is, this is miles away. This community is going everywhere. Look, we are in banks, we are in courts, we are in judges. Y y you tell me. And that is, you have to give this set of books a credit for those. You have to give credit to the Channel S and other televisions, other medias and everybody else mm. because we are now doing positive campaign yeah. for the community that we're going forward. I don't think none of us recognised in our community we will find 5,000 millionaires. Yeah. We will find over 5,000 millionaires yeah. and we will find that people are closer to a billion. Uh, we Bangladeshi spend money on a, more money in a wedding than anybody else does. <laughs> Forget about this, because I, I go to five-star hotels, weddings, right? And I go there and say, Jalil Bhai, my budget was 100,000, my budget was 70 grand, my budget was 90 grand. So there is still, and you go to their place, it's not cheap. It'll cost yeah. you 20 grand by the time you come out of that rear door with a thousand pounds, you know. But it's but worth every penny. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> but tell me, in 1988, how many of us had 20 grand budgets? True. True, true, how, true. Tell me in 1990s yeah. how many of yeah. you can't do a wedding less than 40 grand yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Even a basic yeah. um, mosque wedding costs 15 grand true, now. True. Mosque wedding. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I gave a good example. There's only two uh, college students out of 22,000. At, at the time. And well, I far, far, was, yeah, Farouk, I want to ask you because well, we're about to. Sorry. No, no, thank you very much. I mean, it's, it's amazing. What, what Jolly Bai said is, is, you know, is now. It's come a long way. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, another thing I want to just pick up on is that, um, you know, in terms of members of our community being reserved, yeah. Johnny Bay was talking about how they're graduates and professionals yeah. in every, uh, I, you know, uh, home. But for example, mm -hmm. our sisters don't p put themselves forward. They don't yeah. want to flag themselves up. There are certain younger professionals who are not sure. They're quite uh, uncertain. In what we call cognitive dissonance. They're not sure. They're not sure. They're not aware. That's, there's that sort of thing. I mean, how do we? I think, I, think, I think we all have a little bit of a responsibility ourselves and I'm trying to do my little mm. bit by as you know every year I try and get mm. friends they look you might not be interested why don't you just come along with me so yeah. every year for, so last year I had 48 of my friends with me right. so they come along for them yeah. to be able to you know just to see what they're sure. about. yeah yeah of course yeah. I, I got a suggestion on live on yeah. this book yeah just looked into it quickly I didn't think of I think we must allocate a page for best mom of the year or best, best dad of the year. Mm. The ma mom did not eat, she only had bread, but she mm. decided to send her to school and university. Mm. She decided to send him and husband left her here. I met these people over the years. Mm. Son is today pilot, son is this. Those females need to come to these books mm. and the whole award, people will cry for a whole day. We need to bring some emotional part of our community in these books, not only a teacher, mm -hmm. not only a, we need to give an award to a best yeah. mom of the year. Yeah. And the daughters and sons should it's dedicate okay. that award saying, this is to my mom. I know stories in our community. Father was a, um, uh, uh, working in a airlines. He decided to uh, go with a dolly bird somewhere. And mom <laughs> dis decided to get remarried. Yeah. She decided to leave with the social money, but she decided to make yeah. One PhD holder yeah. at home, yeah. one airplane, yeah. one, and 
she need to come I, here. I've got to move on, but only because of time, because everything yeah. you say. Do, 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 you, do, is, you, do you understand? I do. And it's, you ask me why. It's how fascinating. I it's fascinating. And, and I hope we can carry on the conversation later. Famina, looking forward to it? Absolutely. Thank you very much. And uh, um, uh, Kamrubai, you're going to be there? Yes, inshallah. Yeah. Very good. And of course. I'll be uh, there with love for my friend. Indeed. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break. And we will hopefully continue the discussion about this British Bangladeshi who's who. 10th anniversary. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. You're watching a special program on the British Bangladeshi who's who. This year it's a, a, a special event because it is the 10th anniversary of this particular initiative, a remarkable one. And in the previous segments of this particular program, we've heard a little bit about the initiative itself, how it's a, a reference point of the British Bangladeshi community, those who have been uh, 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 achievers and uh, uh, those who have accomplished. And of course, we've seen a, a short documentary about how it was last year, and we've discussed about what we're likely to expect uh, this year. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've had a, a, a short change of the panel. Uh, we've retained uh, Jalil Bai because I'd like to ask him a few more questions uh, 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 of his insight into his views of this particular uh, initiative. And I've also uh, uh, had well, asked or uh, invited back on uh, Councillor Parvez Bai uh, because uh, we'd like to hear a bit more from him uh, about his thoughts on this initiative. And now we're joined by two others. To my uh, extreme right is Mr. M. Dadul Hok Tipu, who is a, a director of a tech company. Um, this is known as Unisoft, a, a leader in EPOS systems and uh, doing remarkably well. And we'll hear from him about uh, uh, how he's involved in this publication. He's featured in this and, and his thoughts as well. But for the moment, allow me to welcome him. Uh, Tipu Bhai, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Salaam. Thank you for joining us. And to my left, ladies and gentlemen, is a performer. Now, in the clip, you've seen that uh, at the gala event, we have a number of performances uh, to entertain uh, our guests who are present on that occasion. Uh, and this time, we have uh, China Chowdhury, uh, a very uh, famous and well-respected member of the community, a director uh, and founder of the group known as Tal Torongo, which has been uh, uh, engaged in the community and performing worldwide over the past 20 years or so. And we're absolutely thrilled and delighted that they are going to be uh, choreographing uh, a lot of the performances on the forthcoming gala event celebrating the 10th anniversary. Uh, China Apa, Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the show. Aslam. Thank you for joining us. Uh, now, I'm going to uh, begin uh, with uh, China Apa and ask her um, just a little bit about your organization first, because I know that, uh, I, I dare say, there isn't anyone out there who hasn't heard of Tal Tarongo, uh, and many, many people have seen the performances, but can we expect something special for the 10th yeah, anniversary? Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, try for something different, because it's a 10th anniversary. This is when we the first, second time we did Tal Tarongo perform, who is who uh, hopefully, I uh, will do it again, so I will do it again, so I will do it again, so I will do it again. Absolutely. Now, um, I, I know that you can't tell us uh, very much about it, yes. but, but in terms of the uh, kinds of performances, what sort of things do you, is it just dance or did you, uh, uh, singing, music? Just dance. Just dance. Uh, Taltongo based on only dance. Right, okay, and in terms of the choreography, choreography is, yeah. Yeah, is there any particular age group of people that you uh, uh, have dancing no, for you? I have got my own dance school, which yeah. is uh, on Sunday. I run my school myself. Right. But I have got adult group as well, uh, just uh, that is like uh, 16 to um, 25, 26, 27. Fantastic. So there's a, there's a you know, it's, it's, it's not it's just adult a... adult group, actually. That Absolutely. Is, they perform... They're going to perform for the who is who. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. I'm going to now turn to Tipubai. Now, Tipubai, you, you're featured in this particular publication. Um, are you able to share with our viewers some thoughts about what you, uh, what, what you think about it and your take on the who's who? First of all, I mean, I don't know about the who's who team. I'm going to say that I'm going uh, Bangali community on a meda holase, uh, learned Manusholasun, but successful Bepshe Holasun, Amrazan Tampa. Who's Uragid home, Kunu, uh, 
রেফারেন্স বুক আছেন না বা কোনো সোর্স আছেন না যাত্রার মাধ্যমে আমরা জানতে পারতাম আমরা কমিউনিটি কিত হইয়া যা তো স্পেশালি জরিল ভাই সহ আরও অনেক ভাই হলে হুজুরের সাহায্য করা আজকে টেন ইয়ার তারা আইসেন এবং আমি মনে করি আমরাও সাপোর্ট করার দরকার এইরকম অর্গানাইজেশন করলে যারা বালা খাম করে যেটা বা আমরা কমিউনিটির যে ফিউচার যে জেনারেশনগুলো আমরা বাচ্চা খাচ্ছা এখন এক কেমব্রিজ অক্সফোর্ডে যাইরা এটা রিজনে অনেকটা খাস করে এইরকম রেফারেন্স বুকগুলায় দেখা দেখি মানুষের একটা ইন্সপিরেশন পারে মানুষের একটা উৎসাহ জাগে ওকে আমার খাজিন যদি এরকম যাইতে পারুন বা আমার দেশের অজন্য এরকম পজিশন যাইতে পারুন ওয়াই নট মি তখন দেখা দেখি মানুষ অনেকটা আগাইতে পারুন আমি মনে করি যে জিনিসগুলো করিয়া দিই এটা এটা আমরাও সাপোর্ট করলে হয়তো আগামীতে আমরা আরও বেটার কিছু হইতে পারি দ্যাটস ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং ইউ সেই দ্যাট আই মিন বিকজ ফর এক্সাম্পল পারভেজ বাইজ চিলড্রেন দ্য অল গ্রাজুয়েটস ইউ নো উইথ গুড ডিগ্রিজ ইউ নো উইথ ওকে ফার্স্ট ক্লাস অনার্স ডিগ্রিজ ফ্রম গুড গুড ইউনিভার্সিটিস বাট হিজ ডাজেন্ট টেল পিপল সো ইউ নো উই নিড টু টেল পিপল উই নিড টু ড্রাগ দ্যাম আউট ফ্ল্যাগ দ্যাম আপ বিকজ দে উইল ইন্সপায়ার আদার্স জলি বাই আগে হয়ে গেছেন ইউ নো দ্যাট দি ইন্সপিরেশন ইজ সো ইম্পর্টেন্ট বিকজ দিস উইল ইন্সপায়ার someone else now we understand uh, professor bai is humble he doesn't want to uh, you know uh, 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 sort of like uh, uh, boast about anything but the fact is it is important isn't it that publications like this do exist the inspiration is there so that people know not only who you are but also your children and their achievements and yes. accomplishments and that they can also be inspired that's right i'm especially amar bashar khatir ami bibhinno town dai indendor more or less every town on visit kori আমি একটা জিনিস দেখতে পারছি আমরা স্পেশালি আমরা ক্যাটারিং ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ বা আমরা বাঙালি কমিউনিটির মাঝে ফাইন্যান্সিয়ালি ওয়েলে প্রচুর মানুষ আছেন যারা রেখো আমরা চিনি না জানি না প্লাস তারার বাচ্চা খাচ্চা মাসাল্লাহ অনেক হর বাচ্চা খাচ্চা খুব ভালো করা কর্পোরেট লেভেলের জব করা লাইক হাইফাই লাইফ মেনটেন করা অনেকে আমরা জানি না বা সামহাও অহন কোন মানুষে হোজ হোর মাধ্যমে অনেক কামাউট হইয়া আইরা মানুষ সকল ইনভলভ হইরা ইস ইস রেল বাই যেটা আগে হয়েছে এটা আগে আরও আগে হইত হয়তো আমরা কমিউনিটি আরও বেশি অ্যাডভান্স হইতো বা মার্শাল্লাহ নেভার টু লেট ওখানে যেটা অবস্থা হয়েছে হয়তো হোপলি না টেন ইয়ার্স করে আমরা অবস্থান আরও বেটার হইব এজ এ বাংলাদেশি যে হুজ হুজে কাজ করিয়া যায় এটা কন্টিনিউ করিয়া গেলে আমরা আরও বেটার জিনিস পাইম আশা করি হুজুর মাধ্যমে থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাছ না পারভেজ ভাই আই মিন বিকজ Uh, of your uh, not only community engagement but also the post that you had as a mayor of an important borough in London um, you engage and network with people from all walks of life but you still meet people such as Tipu Bai who are doing very well with you know good companies you know very visionary uh, companies how do you feel when you network when you were networking as a mayor when you were networking as a businessman that you are every time that you would see people who are doing very well how would you feel within the community uh, ami ashole etuke arak dhoroner bolchi apnake uttor ta dicchi dekhen ekhane amader je amra je community ache amader community hocche amader backbone jodi amra ekhane fourth generation ekhon achi kintu er pore amader bachcha ra kintu they love to say we are bangladeshi british or british bangladeshi to shei dik theke chinta korle ashole achievement success jokhon ashe ba dekhi amader community the really it is proud feel kore jokhon এবং এটা শেয়ার করি তখন অন্য কমিউনিটির সাথে অ্যান্ড দে আর অলসো রিয়েলি হ্যাপি টু সি দ্যান আওয়ার কমিউনিটি ইজ গেটিং বেটার অ্যান্ড বেটার ইভেন তো জাস্ট উই হ্যাড গোট দ্য রিজাল্ট কাপল অফ উইকস ব্যাক জি সি এস এন অ্যালেভেল ইউ সি হাউ মেনি স্টার দ্যাট রিসিভিং এভরি স্টুডেন্ট টেন টুয়েলভ সে অনেকগুলো এগুলো আছে এগুলো তো আগে চিন্তাই করে যেত না জলিল ভাই ওয়াজ মেনশন প্রিভিয়াসলি দেন আমাদের এডুকেশন সেক্টরে আমাদের বাচ্চা কাচ্চারা যে ভালো করতেছে এটার পিছনে বিহাইন্ড দ্য সিন অ্যাকচুয়ালি আই এম টোটালি অ্যাগ্রি উইথ হিজ সাজেশন অ্যাবাউট প্যারেন্টস মাম অ্যান্ড ডাড সামটাইমস সিঙ্গল প্যারেন্টস দে আর ডুইং রিয়েলি টিমেন্টাসলি হার্ড ওয়ার্ক অ্যান্ড আফটার দ্যাট দেয়ার সাকসেস উই নেভার নো হু দেয়ার মাম হু দেয়ার ডাড এরকম তো অনেক আছে আজকে যেখানে আমরা যে হু ইজ হু নিয়ে আমরা কথা বলছি just look at that uh, our friend abdul karim goni by his children all graduates all are graduates. all great and good graduates yeah and good Proper graduates professionals. And, and we are yes. proud about them to erokom to mane odherke dekhle kintu odherke amader young generation amar chele bolen ba apnar chele ba amader neighbor jorilbai mention korle ekbar every household if you look now will find it out about a graduate 
সো এগুলো আমাদের অ্যাচিভমেন্ট এখন আমার এখানে একটা সাজেশন থাকবে উই আর কন্টিনিউ ইজ এ গ্রেট বুক ইজ এ লাভলি বুক এই বুকটাকে কন্টিনিউ করতে গেলে আমাদের কমিউনিটির সবাইরও সাপোর্ট দরকার সাপোর্ট দরকার মানে যারা আমাদের এখানের মধ্যে বুকে আছে ওনারা কিছু কন্টিনিউয়েশন করেন এক্সিস্টিং যেগুলো তাকে লিস্টেড আছে আমাদের এগুলোকে আমাদের তরফ থেকে আমরা যেন এগুলোকে আপ টু ডেট করি যদি বুকের ভ্যালু এবং বুকের বিউটির জন্য যে রেফারেন্সটা আমি আগে বলছিলাম আমি মেন স্ট্রিমের কয়েকটা জায়গায় আমি দেখেছি ওরা কিন্তু এই বুকটা দেখে কিন্তু আই ফিল ভেরি প্রাউড তখন আমাকে জিজ্ঞেস করে যে আপনি জানেন আমরা সাধারণত মেন স্ট্রিমের সাথে অনেক সময় বসে ওঠাপড়া করি এবং আমি নিজেও ইদানিং আমি নেব কয়েকটা বুক আমাদের লাইব্রেরিতে রাখবো এই বুকগুলা এই যে রেফারেন্স হিসেবে কাজ করবে তো আই ফিল ভেরি প্রাউড অনেস্টলি আই ফিল ভেরি প্রাউড বাট এই প্রাউডটা শুধু ওই হুই সুর টিমের না এটা আমরা সবাই এজ এ কমিউনিটি হোল Parvez bhai thank you very much Jolly bhai I must come back to you yes, because please you have said something which is uh, um, although I'm listening to the other <laughs> yeah, three no. guests I'm still coming back to what you said <laughs> okay. because I can't forget it yeah. you mentioned something so important that you know um, okay we've got our graduates yeah but behind them yes were our parents usually our mothers yes because our fathers are out there doing not just one Whatever. sometimes Taxis, two jobs to, uh, you know round the clock round the clock yeah imagine yeah He was a mayor and he's done over 700 visits. How would he spend any time with his children? He didn't. He couldn't. So who is Bobby? Bobby Bobby would do it. Thank you very yeah. much. Mm. Uh, imagine Gori Gori Bai was tra- tailoring a uh, newspaper. It's s- small wages. Yeah. Hand to mouth. Bachchani kon manush kora kita was it is it a joke? No. এক বাচ্চারা মানুষ করতে হলে বছর বিশ হাজার পাওয়া লাগে খালি প্রাইভেট স্কুলে পাঠাই দিলে আর আপনার ট্রেডিশনাল স্কুলে পাঠাই দিলে কী পরিমাণ খরচ লাগে আর স্ট্রেন্থ লাগে একমাত্র এক মায়ে কইতে পারবো বাপে কথা খাওয়া সম্ভব নয় ইম্পসিবল ইম্পসিবল সো দ্যাট মাই সিচুয়েশন ওয়াজ ভেরি সিম্পল লুক ফার্স্ট থিং আই থিঙ্ক উইট ইজ উই ফর গট অ্যাবাউট পিপল হু কন্ট্রিবিউটেড টু দিস দের আর লট অফ অ্যাডভার্টাইজ আর লট অফ স্পন্সার্স হু হেল্পড ফর লাস্ট টেন ইয়ার্স গনি বাই স্ট্রাগলড আই সিন ইট ইন মাই ওন আইস he kept it because he thought his kids will take over which shadow has shown a lot of interest and he's doing it mm. but this this is never made any money mm-hmm. never made mm-hmm. that event uh, we are inviting everyone that's going to cost 20 grand yeah. forget about the printing these books does not cost pound that's 6 to 10 pound to print one mm-hmm. if you are now printing t- uh, 5000 of them how can much you can, can you imagine can you imagine it's 100 grand gone mm. but we don't realize mm-hmm. the how much does it cost mm-hmm. amra you know we amra wrong cause on extra my first delay no story but yeah. this is a good cause because yeah. this is a in a bible book for the inspiration yeah. and why i said that i tell you why um if you see channels other televisions who is who this is another medium right mm. this brother was before the on the panel he was a teacher mm. he first come to get channels award then he gets who who is who when he when somebody recommend him for member of mbe the british empire business mm. they reference this exactly. it does not work mm. so you can see the success is there that the 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 i know there is not british empire exists but still there is a so title yeah. and it's very title mm, yes. and it has but at least they It, it, it's it's proven fact it's in mm. front of you mm. so we need to respect this and we need to come forward and the businessmen uh, they need to forward it. and it's not going to cost them millions of pound few thousand five businessmen puts together and help this without no politicals this will work because we can't yeah. charge the people we're giving the award to because that's have to be free otherwise that won't have any value because that's it right. will become Nobody contaminated mm-hmm. but the businessmen who is out there who's i know there are a lot of them been helping them but we need to come forward and say you know what regardless how much is going to work on my business it's not going to cost me a million if i give them a thousand pound because he will get a table he's get his families coming in mm-hmm. he, he will see it and a thousand pound is nothing as i said we got over 5000 millionaire he's a millionaire you are a millionaire you know there are millions i don't know about you so i can't say so in 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 this room how many millionaires i i can tell you over 5000 millionaires because from my phone i made a list one day and i find 561 from my phone number they're all multi millionaires so how many millionaires are in this community and these sort of programs cost money and we need to go out there shorombangia the look businessmen khoto kan amar benefit hoybo and it does give you benefits because yeah. all the elite people comes in this the the the, the banquety hall um what was the name meridian grand meridian grand mm. why they they're businessmen they're indian origin they understand they mm. are the businessmen 
they knows they're not losing any money. They're going to make tons of money. And she even admitted, admitted yeah. that sixty percent of the event in the summer was a Bangladeshi. 63%, so yeah. why they're helping this project? Because they're making a, a gain in the business. Mm. So we Bangladeshi also think that way, how they've been thinking. Like we've mm. got to help this and we will make tons of money. Mm. Anyway, look, I always talk too much. This project is a fantastic project. You've been an unpaid presenter for many, many years mm. for these projects. And you also come to Channel S as an unpaid. That's also a contribution to the community yourself. Mm. Right? We don't yeah. speak like this. I, we don't pay any presenter in Channel S. They come from, you know, starting from Birmingham, Manchester, people come in. Why do they come in? They're no. also contributing something. She never got paid. She don't get paid. She does it for love because she thinks very little money. She covers the cost for the girls who's dancing this and that. But she, why she does it? Because she's, it's her passion. passion yeah. it, she thinks, I'm holding the Bangladeshi culture. She knows how to put a Bangladeshi shari to a uh, European girl mm -hmm. if there is no Bengali girl available. Mm -hmm. She knows how to do it. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. This is her passion. This is our, but we all work as a team. We just need businessmen to come forward. Mm -hmm. This is not a controversy. This book, it makes a lot of sense and a lot of people. When um, Anwar Choudhury was on this book, I remember a guy said, oh, we got British High Commissioner in this book. No one ever thought that Silet the Kiaya, Silet Ibeta, or British High Commissioner. No one thought. No one thought. No, no one, one thought, in a million yeah. years. Yeah. Guess what? After that, I'm zetukum meet kori. Igu dega zai foreign office kam kore because people started make a target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get into the That's foreign right. office, yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is these books. This is Channel S giving a award to Anwar Choudhury. Yes, this yeah. is Ch uh, who is who putting him in a big page. And shove koi. I want to get to foreign office. So foreign office is my first step. Then the second step. That's the mm. third step. Mm. And now we got three uh, Bangladeshis are uh, a British ambassador. So this is what I said to you. I have proven it. Mm. Do you want me to give you more proofs? I can. But I, I, I wish we had time <laughs> because yeah. it's yeah. always an absolute pleasure and delight listening to you. Parvez Bai, absolutely spot on, wasn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, you're engaged in the community, as I say, uh, as much as anyone else. And you've networked and observed and so so forth. I mean, uh, your Chile. final thoughts, final thoughts, please. on, on, on Chile, I, can, I can appeal to our community. Yeah. That's what Jalil Bai said. Yeah. It's our business community have a very strong voice, actually, in this country. They should come forward and they should support because it is investment for our next generation. That's a great, it will be help. And we have like what he said, I can say I know many of them, you know many of them. I don't know why they're not coming forward, but they're coming forward. I'm not going to giving them blame, but they need to come but wholeheartedly and they need to support like this project. And again, only that, that's I'll we make the appeal to come on support on the 9th of uh, November, it's the 10th anniversary. And I'm thank you to Channel S as well, and they are really giving them good support. And people will be not through the media. That's the important thing part. China, a uh, lot of hard work leading up to the 9th of November. Yes, hard work. successful. But especially, I thank you, Janachi Channel S, and Goni Bhai, who is who the program to organize. And I'm sure. 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 i am sure i am sure i am sure i am আমি খুব আশাবাদী এবার তার টেন্থ অফ টেন্থ ইয়ারও আরও নতুন নতুন কিছু আমরা দেখতাম পাইমো আমারও আবার সকলের লগে আমি অক্টো এড করতাম সাইরাম আমরা সম্ভবত আমরা বাঙালি আমরা বেশি অনেক আমরা সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্কও খুব বেশি ইনভলভ আমরা সবসময় সাহায্য করে থাকি তো আমি মনে করি এগেইন আমরা বিজনেসম্যান যারা আসুন তারা যদি ফাইন্যান্সিয়ালি হুইচ ইজ লাইক অ্যাড বা এরকম অনেক ফেসিলিটি আছে যেটা হুইজ আমরা কন্ট্রিবিউট করতাম পারি এরকম যদি আমরা কন্ট্রিবিউট কন্টিনিউ করে যাই আমার মনে হয় হুইজ টিম আরও নতুন কিছু আমরা আগামীতে দিবা Sorry, 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 Parvez, but I just got to ask you, have you found it of benefit? I mean, the thing is, uh, I appreciate that we're all saying that let's contribute towards it, but it's a two-way thing, isn't it? Because yeah. when you're featured on there, when your company is mentioned on there, isn't it a hallmark? Isn't yes. it an endorsement of your company? Um, uh, and also flagging you up. So people say they put your name to the business, they connect you, they know who you are, 
and they you know reach out to you to, to do it's business with you. Of course, it's, uh, it's a bit of advertising as well, isn't yeah, it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. Again, it's a big network event. Plus, yeah. it's like a manusual benefits that are It's like a reference book is about how to do it. The high commission of the library, the women of the gatta here. So, it's a a reference book on a show that a politician on a hassle in terror. Thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. By 10 seconds. I like to add 10 seconds. They can last about a year in my mayoral year. I got about appreciation about 60 to 70. Right. And then when I was leave my office, I was my office was asking me, then can you keep one something from your 60 or 70? Then says you can choose which one you like. And they have chosen who is who. Right. Because of the book. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Jolly bye. Final thoughts, please. We're uh, right no, at the end of the show. Final thoughts are very simple. Mm -hmm. This is a project. It's not something new to the community. No. Uh, Ten years is a long time. It's a lifetime. Decade to the other, it was a yes. rocky. So it's a successful project. It's, there is no controversy. And let me clear one thing. Mm -hmm. I want it before I go. Mm -hmm. I am not in this book. Do you know why? Because right. I respect that book. Because me and Gonibai and the family are friends. Gonibai asked me every year. I said, as soon as I go, people will think I'm with my friend. That's why, because I respect that book. I, it's not me. It's not me. Go, uh, you can ask Goni Bai off here yeah. he, how many times he has came and hugged me and said, Jalil Bai, this year you're going on there. I said, no. Because me and you are so close, it, we are like brothers. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be there because people will think, hey, that friend really is it. And that's why I didn't want it to go. This is this is how much I respect but that if, book. But if anyone deserves to be in there, yeah, Jalil yeah, Bai, right. yeah. your contribution to the yeah. British Bangladeshi but, but community. People, people will say when I'm dead. But look. <laughs> what I am saying is, I respect that book. Yeah. That's why I didn't go. Yeah. I didn't want it to contaminate yeah. that book, not me. Thank you very much. Uh, Only because of time, I'm having to stop you, you because thank I'm being told off here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have come to the end of the show. Thank you very much for wa watching. A very final thought from me. It is regrettable that this book is not retrospective, that we cannot turn the clock back and acknowledge the accomplishments and the achievements of our forefathers because their achievements are what led the springboard for us and those around us to be able to achieve as we have. Please keep the who's who and the entire community in your prayers and let's hope that uh, it goes on for another decade because we would like to be back here uh, working for the community in the years to come. Uh, thank you very much to all of my guests who have been here today and of course thank you to you for watching. Balatahoka, Samalikum.